hello, we're back. So, last thing we did, we, we... It was our first concert. Our first concert, first RTS battle. Um, Which it, it solidified the fact that I'm like, can you just play the whole time? Because I'm so bad at real time. I can, I can. I'm real, so bad at real time. I want to, before we do anything, I'm going to go around and maybe get some more collector girls. So, in fifth grade... I, we had this thing called fifth grade camp, which I thought all schools did, but apparently, like, no one else did. What's fifth grade camp? It was just a, a camp we went to in fifth grade. It was, like, a big thing. Like, in the it, summer? No, it was during the school year. Like, we got to miss out, like, a week of school, and we went to a camp. And, it, like, it was a huge thing at my, at my school. Like, a fifth week? grade camp. It was, it was, like, three days. But it was, like, a, like three school days. <gasps> And, like, it was, like, a big thing. No, we didn't. I have never had that. Okay. Well, uh, anybody watching, let me know if you've had fifth grade camp. Do we have anybody watching? No, it's just us. My year in fifth grade camp, they did this thing called um, <laughs> the Underground Railroad, which literally was, what do you think it is? Yep, yep, yep. You're, it literally was like us <laughs> trying to understand the Underground Railroad. And, and, like Harriet Tubman, Underground Railroad. Yes. And, and I come from a very conservative school. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I have an interjection to the story real quick? Yes, sure. Uh, let's, let's talk about the, the demographic, the dynamic of your, of your, oh my gosh. <laughs> Let us, of my high school? Yeah, let's talk about the, the demographic of your high school before we talk about you going through the Underground Railroad to learn about Harriet Tubman. <laughs> If you could tar turban, I noticed I did that last night when we played. I kept saying like I tried to say Lita, F Lita Ford and Rob Halford, and it sounded like Rob Halford and Lita Ford. Like I did, it didn't sound like <laughs> what I was saying. But Harriet Tubman. Come on, you're a singer. Get your pronunciation together. Get my together. diction down. <gasps> oh damn it! Hit by axe. I can't believe we were hit by an axe. Talk about the, the the demographic of your your high school that will be doing the Underground Railroad <laughs> run through, <laughs> as if you were Harriet Tube Man. Um. So my, I come from a, 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 a Pennsylvania Dutch area, a very um, conservative farm town area, and it is uh, primarily white. Yeah, I come uh, from the suburbs of Philly, but that's still pretty white. Yeah, but my, mine was like like my neighbors were Mennonites, and uh, so yeah, Mennonite. Um, uh, but yeah, like it, it's it's very Farmville. Um, uh, but we went through the Underground Railroad <laughs> uh, at this camp, and it was just like it was kind of like. To showcase the like, I guess the fear, but literally, I think it was just like to highlight the like fear of it. Like I don't like we didn't we learned very minimal facts about the actual underground railroad on this little mini journey that we were on, but we did constantly uh, set ourselves to have these like moments of like you were like there were like oh god it's so weird to talk about there's like like people Keep that would come stop. <laughs> um, i'm here uh god i'm like now i'm realizing i'm like oh god this is so bad but um they were like like we would have like people coming in looking for slaves and we would have like hide under the floorboard oh oh this reminds me of something you finish but uh, that um, reminds me of something but anyway uh we had to do that at, at uh at our last night at, at fifth grade camp and we afterwards went and like ate and and i had a uh heck load of grapes and i was so afraid and like my whole body was still like tense and on edge from this whole uh excursion of avoiding um <laughs> early america's slavery uh as a uh fifth grader um <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a lot of a lot of stuff for fifth grade to have. Well, literally, what they would do is they like we would have the seniors in high school come and like be our like chaperones. <gasps> Master Exploder! Sorry, that's a good song. Um, but but we had like they would be our chaperones, and, and one of them during it would be taken away from our group, and like your chaperone. Yeah, we had multiple chaperones. You do this every year for three days. Well, it happens every year at my school, but only fifth graders and seniors in high school go. What do the seniors in high school do? Same They're thing? the chaperones. Yeah, that's okay. I was a part of a frat. That's like one on one frat <laughs> hazing. <laughs> but what they would do is they would take one of the chaperones. Obviously, I think they talked about They'd it beforehand. Them. But uh, literally, would take them away, and you would hear the sound of a whip, and then they would start screaming, and we would have to run. Okay, yeah, that's 
really... It's, it's terrifying. I didn't think about it until now. See, we, we didn't do something like that, but once in seventh, or no, ninth grade, in ninth grade, when we were talking about, like, you know, the slaves being brought over in the ships, there was something where it's like we walked into a dark room. We walked into, like, it, like my history teacher, what she did was, she was really sweet, really sweet, like, tiny little white lady, but she, um... She basically like like turned all the lights off in the room except for like the light from the projector and the projector was just like it was like the ocean or whatever right and it was like ocean sounds and she was basically like take off your shoes and we had her shoes off and then she was like okay like and she'd call out names she'd be like Jonathan Connor and Rachel sit down in your seats those are how many of you would have died on the ship like you know what I mean like something like that it was nothing <laughs> but, it was ninth, but, it was ninth, but it was ninth first off it was ninth grade so we were all like what 14, 15? Uh-huh. and then also like it's like. Like, understandable, and that's like, that's a little, like, low-key. It's not like someone being brought out of the room when you're in fucking fifth grade and then fucking screaming. Damn. But, but, but t- to put the little button on the end of that story is, is I was tr- just recently traumatized by, by yes, the course. idea of the slave trade. Of course. Um, as every child should be terrified of. Uh, it could be you, little <laughs> Jimmy at home. It could be you. It could be you. I was, like, on edge. I ate, like, so many grapes, like, because that was the only food that was left. We were the last group to go. So What, was like, the, what did everybody else have? I don't know. Surf and turf at first, and they probably. just left you with the grapes? It was probably, like, eggs and, 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 like, honestly, a full meal. But also, I was a very picky eater when I was little, so, like, it, it's possible that I was just, like, only grapes, and I'm just, like, selectively choosing this memory. But we went to go back, and we slept in cabins, and, like, we, I went to go sleep in my Where cabin. Where did you go? I don't know. I can't remember the name of this. I'll have to ask my friends. We slept in these cabins, and my one, there was a, a teacher there who, there was like a teacher in every room, and I, I woke up in the middle of the night after like, and my body was like still tense, and like, I was full of grapes, and I look over <laughs> to... <laughs> you, you, that, that'll be, that will be the... Um, uh, so, uh, still tense and full of grapes. Yeah, that's the, the biography title. I leaned in, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, like, Mr. Mr. Andrews? Yes. Mr. Andrew. Like, he was asleep. He was asleep. Oh. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Realism achieved. Yep. Um, I was like, Mr. Andrews, I, I think sleeping. I don't... And I immediately <laughs> threw up all, all the over grapes? him. Ooh. All over him. And he didn't wake up. Did you run away? And I went right back to bed. Oh, my God. I'm the same. I would do the same thing. And, and, and I woke up, and the nurse was in there cleaning him off, and everybody didn't know who it was. Like, when he woke up? Yep. Ooh. Ooh. And, and, well, and at that point, you were just tense. Not full of grapes, but you were but I was just t- tense. You were definitely tense. The grapes were already on, on the floor. They were out of the, out of the equation, <laughs> the out of the body. Gone. The grapes are gone. The... My God, let me tell you, when he found out it was me, he did not let it go. When did he find out it was you? I, I, I eventually told him. Why? Why would you ever tell him that? Because he was wondering who threw up on him, and nobody was saying anything. You were all drunk. You couldn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was like in fifth grade. You were How slave. old was I? You were on the fucking underground railroad. You didn't have time to. You didn't have time to to, to think about what you were drinking. You were running from the, the scary, scary. I was lights. running from the law. Yeah. Right. Like. Um. um and. Oh. Hit by axe. In ninth grade, he was my homeroom teacher. Weird. But yeah, he was my homeroom We went to teacher. the pretzel factory. I- I've never done that. I went to a... Um, uh, the Hearst uh, uh, pretzel factory. Went to a trash facility. We went to Valley Forge because I lived right by there. I, I, went, I went to the... Uh, I went on a uh, vacation. I went on a vacation. <laughs> vacation um, to uh, the trash... No, I went on a field trip to the trash store with a uh, with, with an environmental group that I was not a part of just because I wanted to go to... Uh, uh, trash dump? No, Shady Maple. Ah, that was where we went to after the trash yeah, dump. Yes, Shady Maple is a great place. If you're from PA, this area, especially the rural area of PA, <clears throat> Shady Maple is a smorgasbord, which is like a huge buffet. Um, it's Mennonite run, but also Amish supplied. Wow. Is that right? I don't know. It is Mennonite Run. I don't know the lore of Shady Maple. There is no lore, but like, it, <laughs> there is none. But there has to be lore. Well, Everything long, has lore. Yeah, but for a long time when I was younger and didn't know anything about like the difference between Amish and Mennonite, which I do now, well, like some. It's like, yeah, I don't know all of it uh, either. Like, I thought they were all just Amish, but no, it's Mennonites who are there. Because like, the Amish don't work with electricity, right? Yeah, the Amish don't, but I know I think the Mennonites do. Yeah, the Mennonites do, but... I know they do because uh, my neighbors, when they would play volleyball, they had to wear, like, the long... Like, the women still had to wear, like, the full, like, dresses that go down to their ankles. Mm-hmm. But they had lights. There are Mennonites that come in where, we're, where, we're, um, where we work, at, at the Starbucks we work at. Oh, yeah, they do. Yep. <laughs> I'm tr- treating them as if they're, like, a whole different subspecies. <laughs> Don't say anything. Don't you dare comment on that, Connor. <laughs> you know I want to. <laughs> um, 
I got you some subtitles for this next bit of lore. Ooh. Ooh. Because you know I can't read. <laughs> the Sea of Black Tears. After she was used to lure Ormagodon to Ew. his death, Daetulia was left to cry alone in the darkness. That's just what I look like after I take a shower. Honestly, I, like, I, I get on my knees right in front of the tub and I just cry out all my pain. See, you've never had long hair. That's not true. Not like long like mine. You don't know that? Did I have wigs? <laughs> what, you I say I shower in them? I, what, I can't? You I, I, look, I'm not judging you. I'm not. I'm letting you live your life. You're supposed to be reading. Let me tell my story. <laughs> basically, Atelia's thing made a sea of black tears and it made them all sad. And then if you drank it, you'd turn into basically a zombie. And the Titans went, that's f***ing metal. Yeah. Oh, man, I curse now. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I get to bleep it. Let's, let's loop that back, editor, who is, who is me. Loop that back a couple times. Do a different, couple different noises. Like one with the bleep. I feel like you can't with say metal clack. without like cursing. Oh, you know? Isn't that sad? Um, yeah, me, loop that back. Put, like, a, a duck sound. Like, that's quack metal. That's beep metal. That's honk honk metal. Like, come on. Just make it, like, more and more embarrassing noises. Oh, man, I curse. Oh, any weird stories about me and my schooling? I, I'm sure there oh, are. Oh, uh, I have one, but it's not necessarily, um, it wasn't, like, because I went to preschool slash daycare at a YMCA. Okay. Um, and one time... Oh, I have a weird preschool upbringing. Um, one... Oh my <laughs> my preschool upbringing is... Jeez. Uh, one time I... Uh, one time, you know, you remember all the times when you are in preschool. When I was in preschool, we had St. Patrick's Day, and the way that we celebrated it was... The way that we celebrated was... Or not celebrated, but the, the preschool or daycare teacher... I can't remember if it was daycare or preschool, because it was the same place. But, um... The way that they uh, celebrated it was, they were like, they did, someone, another teacher or advisor, or not advisor, helper or whatever, right, dangled like a little, a little, um, oh my god, uh, a little leprechaun puppet outside the window. I was like, look, it's a leprechaun! And we were like, oh my god! <laughs> and then we all ran outside to find the leprechaun, and then we couldn't find him because he wasn't there anymore, because guess what? Here's the spoiler, he wasn't real, he was a puppet. Um, and when we came back inside to the classroom, the classroom was all turned around, like the, the chairs were, were knocked over and tables were knocked over, and they were like the little- We're like, why? Why did you do this? <laughs> no, no, listen, 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 listen. This is true, this is all true, this is all true. Um, what happened was we then got, um, like, or sorry, sorry. So the chairs were all turned around, there was like glue on things, there was like big, tins open and everything. It was a like huge, huge, mess like the biggest mess you've probably ever seen is a fucking preschooler and um there was like those like you know those like little tiny like plastic like shiny shi shiny like things you can get like basically it's sequin but like it's like like you can get like un un sewn in sequin you know what i'm talking about it's basically yes, like, yes, like yes, little yes, tiny yes, plastic yes, yes, things yeah. they're, they're like there big. were shamrocks and they were all over the floor we walked in like what happened and then the teacher went i don't know probably a leprechaun clean it up <laughs> And so we did! And the whole time, me, at whatever age you are in preschool, like, what, four or five? I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, the f***ing leprechaun did it, but also I was not dumb. I knew it was a f***ing puppet because I saw the strings. And I said, no, you f***ing... I didn't say it, but I thought it. I thought very intensely and very loudly, you clean it up, bitch. But no, we, we did clean it up. <laughs> but I'll never forget that. There's this whole, like, whole extravaganza just for us to clean up crap. Unless I'm misremembering <laughs> that, but I don't think I'm misremembering that at all. And we weren't yeah, bad we kids. It, uh, it wasn't like it was a pun. Yeah, she was like, like, like we were like, what happened? Was it the leprechaun? And she said, I don't know. F clean up, stupid idiots. And we were like, why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. I'm just saying that, like, what was the, like, ideology behind that? Yeah, what that? was the point for that? I don't know. Like, but, you, like, and so I'm Irish. So what? F the Irish? They are just going to f you over and spill things? And f remember they had potatoes once and the potatoes just went bad because they had bad crops that year. The British didn't burn at all. I'm not mad about it. I'm, I'm, I'm Sensitive. noticing some tension. Yeah, a little bit of tension. Uh, is there grapes in the room? <laughs> is there... No, I'm not ten I'm tense and full of rage. Oh, okay. I, 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 I don't know what I'm doing this. Why am I doing that? I shouldn't do that. <laughs> um, what was your story? Do you know what a lab school is? Uh, are lab schools the things that are like... <clears throat> excuse me. Are they the ones that are held in... Um, the ones that are held in like, little trailers? 
No. What are the, aren't those a thing though? I think you're right. But a lab school kind of, like I, the way I was taught it, and I could be completely wrong here, it is that a lab school is uh, when, like it's, it's joined with the university. It helps like early education majors. I, I was in this lab school and it was uh, like Reggio Emilia inspired. Uh, it's the style of education. It, it's very, uh, like your teachers aren't really your teachers. They're they're more of um, you're like guides through lear learning. Like they're learning with you. Like it, it's very explorative. Uh, it's it, it's very effective at growing like young engineers. It's very effective at that. My mother was 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 a teacher there, <clears throat> and she was using like that was like her master's degree class kind of. And she got her master's degree in public education, in, in, in early grade education too. Mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't realize, I, I thought there, the, the way that the, the place was structured, I'm really good at telling stories. <laughs> um, what, am I not? No, I'm very awful about it. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm joking, because <laughs> I'm just, like I literally went to the defense and went, what, you don't like my stories? <laughs> and I was what, like, I, 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 I do. Like, the yours make narrative sense. Mine do not. Um, I but, am a little lost, but I'm going to nod and smile. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> let's cross, let's strike the board. I'm, I'm delete gonna that you, one. I, editor, delete I, that I, one. I, we're going to go back to square one. I was in a lab school growing up, and uh, it was kind of shaped like a square, and in the center was like this little circle, and it was like a full, like... Building? Yeah, the, the building... The, it, it was part of the university, so it was in like a, a class... Oh, oh yeah, like, yeah, It was a large room. It was huge. Um, and inside, like, in the center of it was this little, like, uh, what is that? Like a... a pillar? Yeah, a like column. a pillar. A pillar, a column, one of those. Uh, a and, and I thought, yeah, the guillotine's there. Uh, I thought for the longest time that that was, uh, an elevator. That, like, people would... Because it had a door. And I thought it was just an elevator that, like, would go, like, you could go in and you would go down to, like, the first floor of the, the college or something like that. And the reason we weren't allowed to go in there is because, you know, we're kids and we can't go past, like, the school, right? Does this make sense? Are you, are you lost? It was a column with a door? Yeah. I'm lost. So there's, like, the room. And then there's the center of the room. Are you going to explain what the column is at the end of the story? Is that what the, is this like, yes. what the big build-up is? The big yes. build-up is this is, column. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I, I'm on board then. Okay. I think, because well, when you said it was a column, I was like, okay, it's a column. But then you're like, there's door. I'm like, now nah, I'm confused. <laughs> it, well, so yeah, something that looked like a column. It looked like just like a regular column. I thought it was an elevator. For like probably the first 20 years of my life, I thought it was an elevator. And my You've mother, discovered this recently? This is recent. My mother told me that I was like... Because I was telling her, I was like, oh yeah, and there was like the elevator in the middle of the room. My mom was like, that's not an elevator. That's where undergrad students would watch you. <laughs> and, like, and, what, like a two-way mirror kind of thing? Yeah. And they're like, that's where they, like, they would learn about like early education <laughs> by watching people interact like with students and they would do case makes studies. That makes sense. And, and that's why it was a lab school, I think. Because um, you were a lab rat? <laughs> could, pretty much. <laughs> And, and like, I have never become so self-conscious of myself. Like, I went back like 15 years in my brain was like, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed that somebody saw that. Because like, I'm gonna be honest, I was, I was such a gay baby. Well, that's the point. I mean, the, that you're a gay baby. Was this daycare? Like, it was preschool. Well, I told you, like, the beginning of the story was, the, the style of the school is Reggio Emilia, which is like a Montessori-esque Waldorf. These are all just basic These styles. are big words you're saying. They're all just understand. styles of education. You know Pretty when much. sometimes I might talk about some things about like music history or something or, or composers and you're like, mm-hmm, that's mm -hmm. how I feel right now. Wow, I finally got it. I did it. <laughs> no, that happens often with me. <laughs>